The attack on Chinese infrastructure in Pakistan continues. Earlier this evening, multiple blasts were reported at Pakistan's Gwadar Port Authority complex. And following the explosion, unidentified gunmen stormed the complex and opened fire. And according to Pakistan media reports, seven attackers were gunned down in retaliatory firing by the security personnel. Right now, a large contingent of Pakistan forces is present at the complex. No casualties have been reported so far. The Majid Brigade of the Balochistan Liberation Army, the BLA, has claimed responsibility for the attack. But here's why this is big. Gwadar is located near the Strait of Hormuz, a crucial oil shipping route in the Arabian Sea. This deep water port in Pakistan is also a key element of the $60 billion so-called China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, also known as the CPEC, a cornerstone of China's wide-reaching Belt and Road Initiative, which focuses on linking China's Xinjiang province with Pakistan's Gwadar port. But this is not the first time a Chinese project has come under attack in Balochistan. In fact, in August last year, a convoy of Chinese engineers working in Gwadar were attacked by the, Baloch, by, by the Balochistan Liberation Army or the BLA. And there's more. In April 2022, a terror attack against a shuttle bus used by Karachi's Confucius Institute killed three Chinese teachers and their local driver. The attack was claimed by the Baloch Liberation Army. In August 2021, two children were killed, three wounded in an attack targeting Chinese nationals in Gwadar. And a month before that, in July 2021, a shuttle bus blast killed nine Chinese and four Pakistanis. A few months before that, in April, a deadly car bomb explosion at a hotel hosting the Chinese ambassador in Quetta killed five people. That attack was claimed by the Pakistan Taliban. In 2018, the BLA attacked Chinese Consulate General in Karachi, killing two police officers. And in May 2017, 10 workers were killed by the BLA gunmen in response to the CPEC development. Do you see a pattern here? Because you are not wrong. Armed Baloch groups have repeatedly targeted Chinese projects. And now you may be wondering, what is their problem with the Chinese? You see, there is a reason why Chinese projects are increasingly becoming a target in Balochistan. Balochistan is a resource and mineral rich region of Pakistan. And where there is money to be made, the Chinese are present. Beijing, in fact, has invested heavily under its Belt and Road Initiative in Balochistan. This investment includes the development of Gwadar, but the situation has not been all roses. Chinese investment sparked tensions on the ground. It has fueled the decades-long separatist insurgency in the region, and as a result, the armed Baloch groups have attacked Chinese projects and workers. They say they oppose China's exploitation of the mineral-rich region. They say Chinese investment robs them of the resources of their own land. They say they do not benefit from Chinese investment. And so they attack CPEC-linked projects. So in the past, Baloch separatists have exaggerated their success in these attacks. But Pakistan authorities as well have severely downplayed these attacks or delayed reporting them. The Pakistan government, in fact, has deployed thousands of security personnel in order to counter threats against Chinese interests. But that has not stopped the attacks. Chinese companies operating in Gwadar, as well as other parts of Balochistan, continue to be targeted. Despite Pakistan's efforts to boost security, the situation remains complex. Therefore, no matter how much China invests in transport, energy, infrastructure projects, instability, tensions over resource distribution persist. Anas Malik, our Pakistan bureau chief, has been tracking these developments closely, is joining us on the broadcast this minute. Anas, let me begin by asking you to tell us more about what really is happening on the ground. Bring us up to speed with the latest. 
Well, the latest situation is that the attack is over. Uh, the situation is considerably under control. The combing operation has been completed as well. What we know is that at least eight terrorists uh, belonging to the Baloch terror organization, the Baloch Liberation Ar Army, have been neutralized. They tried to enter the premises uh, of the Gawadar Port Authority, trying to attack the security forces and its related institutions. But uh, they weren't allowed to go beyond the first check post. They tried to ram in their vehicle full of uh, uh, laden of explosives, uh, but they couldn't detonate it. And as a result of uh, the timely action by the Pakistani security forces, at least eight ter terrorists who were involved in the attack have been neutralized. Right, Anas, let's also talk about the overall security situation. This attack coming on the heels of uh, the uh, recently concluded election as well, also in the middle of uh, the extremely grim economic situation. What do you make of all of this? Well, the attack lasted for about 40 minutes uh, and we've previously seen such attacks have been happening. They have been targeted uh, on uh, precisely on foreign nationals, precisely Chinese engineers uh, and their related work. And then uh, off late, we've seen that security forces convoy have have, uh, have been attacked precisely in the area and uh, in the vicinity of Gawadar city and Gawadar district by and large. So this attack particularly was directed uh, at uh, the security forces and its uh, instances. It was not to do uh, with any uh, uh, port related infrastructure uh, which the Pakistani authorities say. But that being said, it raises alarm bells. Thanks very much for the moment, Anas, uh, for those updates. And of course, we are going back uh, to Anas Malik, who is on the ground tracking those developments very closely for us. We are now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the updates on the move.